Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley says close to 14,000 Venezuelan nationals have registered thus far. He made the announcement during today's House of Representatives sitting today. This after being asked to update the parliament on the amount of Venezuelans who registered. The process began on May 31st and is expected to end today Friday at 5 p.m. Speaker, as at 10.27 p.m. last night, Thursday, 13th June, the registration process registered 13,932 Venezuelans. Dr. Rowley was also asked to confirm whether the process would really end at 5 p.m. as there are hundreds still waiting to be processed. The period ends today. I do not know at what time, but Madam Speaker, the Minister of National Security and those involved, we are going to be as uh, humane as possible. But at the end of the day, whatever time it ends tonight, that is the end of the registration process. He said those persons who are at the centers and lines after the deadline would receive a dated number, which will allow their process to be completed at another date. However, those persons who are at the end of the line today, that is the end of the process of the two-week registration. It is supposed to end at 5 o'clock today, Madam Speaker. All persons who are there will be identified and acknowledged and be registered in this exercise. And we remember now that today is the final day for registration of Venezuelan migrants. The period for registration started on May 31st and closes today, June 14th. After today, the enforcement of existing immigration laws will resume, which means that those registered will be deported at this time. And we have Marie Hull at the Queen's Park Oval to give us an update. Marie, tell us what's happening. Well, right now we see members of um, Trinidad and Tobago just assisting the Venezuelan migrants with food. Um, persons going in, it's not, compared to previous days, there's not a lot of people registering. One of the issues I've been told is not being able to have the form. The website has been down for a few days. Um, I've been told unofficially that they may be distributing some of the forms so that persons will be able to register. This form is the first step to be able to go inside and register. As mentioned before, the Prime Minister said approximately 13,900 people have been processed at this time. Um, we see a lot of persons who are just spectating, not really registering because they're taking them in in groups. Um, they don't have, uh, they see members of the police service are here just to ensure that this area is calm. And that is just what's happening here at the Queen's Park um, Oval. Mary Hall reporting for TVT News. And we go to Janine Brown at the Achievers Banquet Hall in San Fernando for a look at what's happening there. Janine? The process continues in San Fernando. I speak with one national who's trying to register, but he's experiencing some difficulty. His name is Luis, and he's going to tell us what he's experiencing. Luis, good morning. Ah, no, tengo ningún problema. Eh, el problema que tengo es que no me he podido registrar porque la página ahorita no está abriendo y esa es mi preocupación. Pues. He said, right now the, pro the, the problem is it have too much of people and too much of people and not enough people working this. So the process it more harder for them to process because. It's too much of people and not enough people accepting them that way. And today's the last day. I know he told me there was a, pro a problem with his online form. He just said, the problem is with the internet, with the form. Yes. Si, problem is with that. Yes, the page is not opening now. What? The page is not opening now. The link wasn't opening. So those are some of the concerns from the nationals as they try to register this morning. The numbers are building and of course it's a race against time as 5 p.m. is the time carded for the registration process to come to an end. So that's what's happening in San Fernando right now. The final day of registration, Janine Brown reporting for TTT News.